Hey guys, Jeff here, Aromatics. So I got a package today from one of my um, subscribers and that would be Everett Young, who also has his own channel with a few reviews and things. So definitely check him out. And what he sent me was two, uh, two different tobaccos and one of them was a nice healthy sampling of velvet, which I've been meaning to try because I think I've pretty much tried most of the main popular Codger blends uh, and like uh, Carter Hall, Half and Half, um, uh, Granger and Prince Albert and a few other ones and a few other ones that are a little bit less popular than that. But the one of the, of the big ones that seems to be really popular with uh, the Codger Blend uh, Burley crowd is Velvet. Never got a chance to try that out. So I have loaded my little corn cob pipe here up with it. And uh, let's get a smell first. Now the smell is going to be skewed because because uh, Everett put a, another bag of mixture 79 beside it and that smells really strong of licorice. So that seems to be carrying into here. So I'm smelling some licorice. So whether or not like natural licorice, kind of florally too, and saccharine. -y. So I don't know if that's what velvet normally has, but I am getting a little bit of that. And not much else really. Um, but when I let it dry out and I smelled, I smelled the tobacco, it, I got mostly brown sugar. And I looked it up and I heard other people say the same thing. So I, I it's cool that I came up with brown sugar on my own because uh, that is what I smelled. And a little bit of that cocoa-y chocolate smell as well. That's common with Burleys. So the cut, um, I don't know if you can see that. It's all burly and it's just a really fine chopped up. I don't know if I'd say it's a cube cut, maybe, but just a nice little chopped up type of cut. So let's uh, give it a taste. I have been smoking it for a while, about halfway down my bowl now. And it's mild and smooth. And just nice, easy retro hail. Another burly that it reminds me of, as far as the smooth, the smoothness would be Carter Hall's is, is like that too. But Carter Hall actually kind of bites me. This one, no bite. Getting a nice general sweetness. You definitely get that brown sugar, and I am tasting. It does taste like there's that natural anise licorice flavor there too. Little saccharine, little floral. Got a nice little hit of that cedary nut, kind of a cedar nut that I get from Burley's every once in a while. I really, I really enjoy that. Goes great with a coffee. After you have a sip of coffee and go back to it, one of these types of Burley's, uh, it just brings that flavor out again. It resets your palate for the Burley's. Great combination. But I think most of you already knew that. And the burn, I, I left it uh, for a while sitting down. And when I came back, it was probably like, I don't know, three minutes. It was still burning away, but it's not hot. Very cool burning and it's a humid day. So I'm pretty impressed. So I was going to talk about something and that's uh, my channel. And uh, so what I like to do is my main focus is definitely reviews. And I know some people, we all have our thing, right? Some people like yabos, other people hate yabos. Some people like reviews, other people, they don't, you know, want to be bothered. They, they're not into the whole, I taste this and I taste that type of thing. But that's the main thing for me. I always used to enjoy, and I still do, is when I get a new blend or, or, or I'm just bored and I'm looking through the internet, like looking through the internet, I like to see other people's opinions on blends and sometimes it gives me an idea of what I might want to try or now since I have such a good selection sometimes it just kind of reminds me of something I haven't smoked in a while and I'm like yeah after I watch a review of some, you know say you know Carter Hall I'm like yeah you know what I should break that out and then I smoke it for a while it helps me choose something to smoke when I want something different so what I'm saying is basically 
uh, mostly sticking with reviews. I do, I do uh, have some other content that I want to do, but sometimes I think it might be weird where I'm coming out with a, a lot of a lot of content in a short mm -hmm. period of time, and that's just because I find reviews very easy to do. And my seller, I do have tobaccos that I just love and I have a huge amount of, and and it's funny, a lot of those are some of the first tobaccos I ever got. And so, but I still like to, you know, try um, like one ounce samples of different things from the stores or a lot now too, I'm getting a lot of trades, like I'm trading some aged tobaccos for, you know, other aged tobaccos or, or some people just gift me like today, some tobaccos I haven't had. So it's very easy for me to come up with a lot of content. And I really like that because it's nice to know that if, if you want to review on something or you're wondering what someone thinks of something, you can just click on the internet and hopefully, you know, someone out there has reviewed it. I want to be part of that. Because I know I, I used to be like that too where I was looking for a review and I didn't want to read one. I found it funner to watch somebody review something. So, and it's easy for me to set up. Like the, the setup I have with my camera where I can pretty much set it up anywhere. I have some real easy editing software and I just do a basic job. So it's real easy for me to just come up with a review and just throw one out and I'd still enjoy myself at the same time. It's not like I'm really putting myself out most of the time to do a review. Sometimes the cigar reviews are a bit annoying. Not annoying, but since I only smoke one cigar, I'm kind of stuck in between. Do I want to just sit here and enjoy it in peace, or do I want to share it? But if I share it, I'll probably never be able to share it again because most of the time I don't smoke that same cigar again. So yeah, we and the bugs out here are crazy today. Yeah, nice, nice blend. It's I find this one is a really good one to just sip because the flavors are just really mild. But if you just take your time with it, they're just there and they just hover on your on your tongue. Be still and smoke would be the slogan for this one. So anyway, I think that's it for uh, for my review. Thanks again, uh, Everett. This is a, a really good blend. It's um, great burly blend. I can see why people like it. I, I If you're into burlies, I don't really see why anybody would hate it. It might be a little bit mild for some people, but if, if you like the, the codger type burlies, but you want something that's a little bit lighter on the topping than, say, half and half or... Um, uh, one of those other ones, this one might be uh, the way to go because it's nice and smooth and light, but it doesn't have a, a ton of topping, just a nice sweet brown sugar kind of thing going on. So, all right, I will uh, finish my video review up now and I will talk to you guys later. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.